My wife shared with me an interesting observation by Rabbi Ephraim Goldberg of Boca Raton, Florida. He said that he read an article where certain school districts were considering shutting down snow days, obviously not in Florida, because they said, why do we need to call snow days? If everyone's virtual anyway, we should continue school even when there's snow days. And Rabbi Goldberg pointed out that while that may be true, that there is no, no more need for official snow days and to cancel school altogether if they're doing anyway on the, anything on the, everything on the computer anyway, there is something magical and nostalgic about waking up, seeing the snow fall, getting that message that school is canceled, and then running back upstairs and going back to bed, or if you're my kids, not going back to bed, having that hot chocolate, putting on the snow pants, going outside in the backyard, building a snowman, and that's a, an essential part of childhood. And Rabbi Goldberg said that even though there's many things that we could do, it doesn't mean that we should. And a message of Hanukkah that's so vital is that there's many, many things that we can do, but there are many things that we just should not do. As Torah Jews, as believing Jews, as Jews who understand that there's something grand about our destiny and something majestic about the Jewish people's mission. We light the menorah by the petach habayit, by the doorway or by the window, publicizing the miracle, to say we want to give light to the outside and we want the outside world to see our light as well. But there is a doorway, there is a threshold, and not everything that is inside should be shared with the outside and not everything that's on the outside needs to be shared on the inside. What a beautiful message to take us to take with us as we enter into the winter on this, the Zot Chanukah, it's called, the last day of Chanukah, which has incredible spiritual powers, according to our rabbis, where we can take all the accomplishments and all the lessons learned throughout the previous eight days of the holiday and distill it into the final day here on Friday, the right before Shabbat. On a personal note, we celebrated last night in a beautiful drive-by, and I want to thank everyone who came by to wish my daughter Ayelet a mazel tov on her bat mitzvah, and my blessing, and my wife's blessing, to my daughter Ayelet, is that you should really take this lesson and be able to understand and with wisdom know when to shine your light outward, when to share with others your joy, your Torah, your mitzvot, but also when to keep things in, things that are private, things that are between you and your family, and to strike that balance between an orla goyim, between literally a, be, between being literally a light unto the nations and a light unto the entire Jewish people, but also being strong in your inner life. And that is a blessing that we all certainly, I'm sure, can use as we enter, exit Hanukkah, and enter into the winter. Hopefully a blessed, safe, healthy winter for us all. Shabbat Shalom. And thank you again for all the Mazel Tov wishes. We really appreciate it. And we should only gather together for many more happy occasions only in person. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.